I think that you know definitely having the students involved in, in coming in and, and doing the deliveries coming in and helping package up food even the students doing the uh, dishes when they come in they're excited they want to know what's for lunch what's for breakfast what's happening tomorrow they you know they're a lot more engaged in it because they're a part of it they get other students excited because they're like look I help make this package you know I help package this or I help cut this or I was in there when Ben made this and I actually see it so they encourage other students when they go outside of here and they feel like oh let me try this let me make sure I you know at least try it we make smoothies every week and uh, there's there's one student she she loves to tell me her feedback anytime she sees me in the hallway and uh, you know, she, she told me I should make some mango and pineapple smoothies. So I think next month, once we're at the menu, we're gonna we're gonna see if that's uh, feasible with our with our budget and everything. And I think that's a great idea to you know get some more fruit kind of mixed into into what they're doing. But that's one of the biggest days around here is the the muffin and smoothie day. One thing I've noticed is students influence other students. So they might have someone in their class who doesn't like say cook carrots but then you have somebody in the classroom who loves cooked carrots. So a student might try it and be like, hey, why don't you try this? You know, it, it's good. It, you know, Ben does a good job. And actually having that encouragement from a student instead of like a staff or member, it really actually helps and the student tries it and they're like, oh, I do like it, you know? That girl next month's gonna see pineapple and mango smoothie on the, on the menu and she's gonna be like, that's my smoothie, right? And she's gonna be excited about it telling everybody else. So.